guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm actually going to be doing a desk tour because we are moving into the warehouse this week, um, which you guys would have seen on the other week's vlog. So yeah, this whole office is going to be moved to the warehouse and this is going to turn into a playroom. So I really wanted to show you guys my home office and how I've had it set up over the last couple years. It's been super functional and it just really helps me keep inspired and motivated. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. If you have any questions, please comment below and I'll make sure I answer them. And yeah, keep watching. So here's my home office. Um, I absolutely love white and blush. So that's pretty much why the whole office is that color. Um, so the desk I got from Ikea and you can do different configurations with it. So I just paired it with the Alex drawers. Really love this desk. I pretty much looked for the deepest desk I could find because I always find desks never have enough room. This little storage cube here, that is from Kmart. And then the tubs are the Drona tubs from Ikea. Really good for storing a lot of stuff. I use the gray ones for our linen closet. I must say though, the white, I probably wouldn't go again just because it is so easy for it to get dirty. Um, yeah, so I've labeled that and I'll go through that with you guys next as well. So I'll start on this side of the office, just where most of the storage is. So yeah, as I said, this um, shelf is from Kmart. I love the Jonah tubs, but yeah, the white just doesn't stay as clean as I would like to. Um, so I got the bamboo labels from Little Label Co. So I've got everything in here is for filming supplies. So obviously all my YouTube stuff, any collaborations and P um, PR packages that I've been sent either for like YouTube or Instagram. And then miscellaneous is basically mostly to do with my Steph Pace Planners brand, which is like labels and stuff. So I can post out everyone's products. So that's pretty much that. Um, I love these labels, like I've mentioned before, because you can peel them off and change them. So it makes it a lot easier. I got these folders from Kmart for anything like timesheets, invoices, receipts, and blog plans. So blog plans, mostly like any content ideas I write down. Um, yeah, so I keep everything in there. I don't need anything else besides that. I like to keep most things digital, but yeah, I just got those few things out. Up here is a shelf I got from Interior Motors. They got the cutest stuff. I have these in the girls' rooms as well. So it's like this really nice natural leather strap and that holds up the wooden shelf. So along here, I've got like some little motivational cards. These are from Kiki K a couple years ago. My friend bought me those. Got this one from Kmart a couple of years ago. Now this is new. This is from Sunny and Willow. If you guys follow me, you know I'm obsessed with her dry arrangements so that's from her i just love them and they don't die obviously here i need to get a photo printed so that's just a photo frame which i still haven't even filled which is shocking because ryan and i have moved house so many times because obviously ryan's a builder this is the seventh time we've moved i've never really been able to print photos because i could never really hang things so i'm really bad with remembering to print family photos i have like the family photo books i do those but like in terms of remembering to print them i'm shocking but I will get onto it eventually. <laughs> so that's that shelf up there. Having little shelves like this with some um, decor can really help like warm up a space and make it feel a bit more like homely as well. Now, as you guys know, I absolutely love the Ikea magazine holders. So I use this for filing. This is perfect because it gets all of this paper clutter off your desk. There's nothing worse than having like all your mail and stuff that needs to be filed chucked on the desk. So I've basically labeled this to do. So obviously anything I need to action, mail, which is pretty self-explanatory, files or anything that I need to archive or file away contracts and then miscellaneous so this works really well for me obviously this is gonna like vary from household to household i also have this in our doorway which is labeled like ryan steph harper willow for anyone's mail all the kids like daycare notes but yeah, I love this. It is such a good system. Ryan has it on his side of the office. Yeah, really good, especially if you have a big family and there's lots of mail coming in and out for school notes and stuff. I definitely would recommend using this one. One thing I did learn from having a smaller house before we moved here was to really utilize any wall space that you have. So, you know, using things like the vertical magazine holder, it's gonna get all your paper clutter off the desk and it's gonna give you a lot more room. So yeah, definitely utilize wall space where you can. All right, I'll come down to the desk now. So um, I try to keep this more minimal, but obviously I like it to look pretty as well. So I've got a couple of frames, got a cute um, lamp in there. 
um, a desk organizer and stuff like that. So I'll show you guys. There are some items I will always keep out on my desk, which is my Steph Pace planners to-do list. If you're new to my channel, I've got my own brand of planners and notebooks and just anything to keep you organized. So I'll give you guys the link for these below. I've got a special discount code just for my YouTube fam. So yeah, I have this out every single day. A to-do list really helps me keep productive and it makes me feel a lot less overwhelmed. It helps you to like get everything out of your head and onto paper. So I literally plan out my whole day on this. Uh, I plan out my day in the scheduled section and then that's my general to-do list. And then that's my four important tasks for the day. Even has a water trucker. Um, and then down here you can pop tomorrow's task, which is also good just to get it out of your head and then any notes. So the to-do list is like vital for me every single day. We've obviously got the Steph Pace 2020 planner. Can't wait for you guys to see 2021. Like they are amazing. I can't wait for you guys to see. So that's that one. This one's sold out. Um, but yeah, t next year, keep an eye out. And then I've got my weekly desktop planner. Again, it's Steph Pace Planners. This is my exercise one. So I'll just track all my workouts and plan my workouts for the week ahead. This is really good for work schedule too. Um, so if you want to plan like a day you do content or writing emails or, you know, just admin work, it's good to really plan it out on your desktop planner. And obviously my laptop, this cover, I'm obsessed with. I got it from the Daily Edited and you can get it like personalized and everything. And it also comes in black, but... I just love it. That's me editing YouTube as always. <laughs> so yes, they, these are the main things I pretty much keep on my desk all the time, but everything else gets put away. So this lamp I got from XO, XO Coco, I think it's called. I'll pop the link below if I can find it. Um, I did get that a couple of years ago and then I've got some really pretty frames. So I'll put the links to the artworks and the personalized frame below as well. Um, and then this one was a really pretty portrait. One of my beautiful followers, Love Stack, she drew this. She's incredible. And then Louis Lux has some gorgeous poems. If you don't follow Louis Lux, you need to. She's got some different poems and yeah, she's just so talented. It's ridiculous. I wish I could write like her. <laughs> So we've got that and over here is obviously my Blossoms by Ash candle. This is the mini one. I think it's so cute. I love it. I just love how they've got a lid because you know after a while when you've like been burning candles, they can get a bit yuck on top. So I love having a little lid. So yeah, I love the white. And that um, scent is Japanese honeysuckle, which is like a really nice sweet scent. Now this dried arrangement is actually from Home Time, which is a local store. They've got really cute arrangements you can pop together yourself. So I got that and the vase from there. Moving along, this is a desk organizer also from the Daily Edited, so you can get them personalized. And I just keep all my notebooks. This is a large notebooks where I do any of my new Steph Pace Planner product designs or ideas. I keep things like staplers in there as well. That stapler, I'm pretty sure it's from Kmart. Then I've got another Blossoms by Ash Diffuser and this one's in the scent Clean Cotton. It smells so good. And then I got a bit of Clary Sage, which is really good for like clearing any bad energy and stuff. I've never really done that type of thing, but I'm starting to like get into it, guys. <laughs> so that's pretty much everything on the actual desk. Having like a really motivating and clean home office is going to help you to keep productive and keep you inspired and motivated. So definitely would recommend that. Even having a vision board. I've got a vision board upstairs, but having one in your office um, will help you a lot. Coming to my drawers. So most of these are just notebooks and stuff. But in like terms of how I organize the top drawer, I got these tubs from Reject Shop and that's where I keep any like pins. It's my AirPods case. That's also from the Daily Edited. Everything is just matching. It's pretty bad when I think about it. Um, all my highlighters, pens, any like little devices for the laptop. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty minimal because there's not much that I need. Most of the stuff is obviously on my computer. Having little desk organizers is gonna really help keep your drawers really tidy. And then down here, there's pretty much notebooks in those. And then in here, I've got some more little tubs and that's more like the mouse for the computer, any little hard drives or portable phone chargers and cables. So it's pretty minimal, but that's just like how I like it. I don't like to have a lot of clutter. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much my desk. Anyways, that's it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it's kind of given you some inspiration on how you can organize and store items in your home office and keep it like really practical, but also pretty as well. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed. If there's any videos you guys would like to see from me in the next couple of weeks, please comment them below and I'll make sure I get onto it for you. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.